So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we'll cover the best free photo editors. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below, as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Over recent years, Adobe changed its pricing strategy, focusing on cloud-based subscription plans, a move that frustrated many longtime users and photographers worldwide. Today, the prices for comparable services seem to be ever increasing and purchasing dedicated editing software remains relatively expensive, not to mention an eye-catching portfolio and high-quality photographs require the right camera equipment, which quickly adds up. So it makes sense that a subscription program is often outside of many photographers' budgets. And if you're not a professional, you'll likely have a hard time seeing the value and worth in shelling out the extra cash to get a flagship Adobe product. Thankfully, there are plenty of great free photo editors and software applications out there that still deliver results. And just because they're quote free doesn't necessarily mean they're poorly designed, limited, or challenging to master, the exact opposite in fact. A good majority also offer similar capabilities and features without the hefty price, and they can quickly and efficiently take your images to a professional level with minimal effort. So if you don't want to purchase an editing software, then really there's no need to. Quality matters and you don't need to break the bank just to achieve highly polished images. In today's video, we will cover the best free photo editors to transform your images so they're ready for delivery and match your creative vision. And these options give both Photoshop and Lightroom a run for its money. You can also find a full guide on how to choose a free photo editor, and that is in the link in the description down below. But onto the list. Coming in at number seven, Photoscapes X. Photoscape X is a desktop application that's available on Windows and Mac OS, and it's an all-in-one editing platform that works as both a viewer and one-click editor. The app also offers the essentials for editing such as crop, rotate, resize, blemish removal, spot healing, and liquify, just to name a few, but it also has advanced features such as batch editing, raw conversion, cutout, a GIF creator, HDR, focus stacking, color picker, and much, much more. Plus, the viewer also offers both flags and star ratings to help sort through images, and the features continue now with a wealth of other creative options. Some of these include a collage maker, thousands of stickers, hundreds hundreds of frames, figures, text, and over 400 one-click filters and effects. The list of features here seems nearly infinite, and it's quite impressive to see this amount of creative flexibility in a free app. As a package, Photoscape X is the right choice for enthusiasts looking for a capable solution, and it's also equally capable for socialites looking to create original content. It may look rather innocent, but under the hood is a powerful feature set. Thankfully, beginners will find a long list of video tutorials on their website to help get started. Overall, now on version 4 of the software, Photoscape X is even more refined than the initial iterations, first debuted in 2013, and it's quite the complete package with a long list of accolades to brag. Coming in at number 6, Darktable. Darktable is an open source desktop application that's a direct alternative to Adobe's Lightroom, and it's available on Ubuntu, Fedora, Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. This open source workflow application and developer offers both simple adjustments ranging from crop, rotate, exposure, curves, spot removal, and more, but you can also use it professionally, and it offers advanced features such as human night vision simulation, liquify, split toning, mask, perspective correction, and full non-destructive editing. In total, it provides 61 image operation modules, many of which are typically only found in Adobe Lightroom. It also offers a complete catalog database and library feature for you to organize and rate files easily. The app even boasts raw file support, 3D LUTs, built-in ICC profiles for Adobe RGB, and 16-bit exporting. And it's one of very few projects in the space that offers tethering. Every change made in the program is even immediately stored on the disk, so there's no need to save manually, perfect to avoid losing unsaved work. Darktable is an excellent choice for the enthusiasts and advanced photographers wanting a more technical but fully featured app. It's equally as capable as Lightroom and delivers quite a robust feature set, and one that fills the gap between other raw converters, developers, and image management tools. 
Overall, while not as powerful as the paid for version, their free suite remains excellent. It's entirely ad free, clean, elegant, and quite ambitious. If you're looking for a more comprehensive tool created by photographers, this is surely one to consider. And as a complete workflow tool, it'll make your life easier when handling thousands of images. Coming in at number five, Be Funky. Be Funky is a web-based application and smartphone app combo, available on desktop computers, Android devices, and iOS devices, and it's the most popular choice for its extensive selection of special effects. Both the website and companion app offer a wide array of basic adjustments. These include exposure, sharpening, smoothing, blur, red eye removal, and much more. And it also provides a powerful setup of advanced photo effects like batch processing and various touch up functionality. But where this platform shines is the collection of filter effects available, which is extremely comprehensive to say the least. And it easily provides hundreds of one of a kind options you can't find elsewhere. Plus, you can even add text, frames, textures, custom graphics, overlays, and create collages, all of which you can directly share on social media or the cloud, and together it offers excellent flexibility. Be Funky is a strong choice for beginners, but it's also equally capable for bloggers and socialites looking to add more flair to their images, create graphics, or do quick touch-ups on the go. And it's efficient, simple to use, and very engaging. Overall, it offers the largest selection of effects around Around. It's a powerful tool if you don't mind navigating through the various options. Coming in at number 4, Adobe Photoshop's Express. Adobe Photoshop's Express is their trimmed down, free alternative to their professional, albeit expensive Photoshop suite. This application is available on iOS and Android and Windows devices, making it the perfect tool for on-the-go creators, but they do also offer a web-based version for desktop users as well. The desktop browser editor only supports JPEG and PNG files and doesn't boast some of the rival's advanced features, but even so, it offers all the essentials such as spot healing, crop, straightening, resize, and much more, so it's helpful when editing on the desktop at home. However, the accompanying smartphone app is the real star here. The app delivers a fair share of what you would expect from Photoshop, but in a more streamlined and simplified fashion. It offers functions such as crop, rotate, blemish removal, resize, to name a few. Plus, it also has decorative options to add text, create custom collages, and all adjustments are made with a simple tap of the finger, making it easier than ever to apply any of these effects. Plus, it syncs seamlessly with other Adobe products and supports direct sharing to social media or the cloud. Photoshop Express is an excellent choice for beginners and intermediate photographers who prefer editing on their devices, and as an Adobe product, it's brilliantly designed, polished, and extraordinarily easy to use. Overall, if you like editing on smartphones or tablets, Photoshop Express is easily the best option around, and it offers enormous flexibility and power that other apps lack, especially in such an easy-to-use package. Coming in at number 3, Fodor. Fodor is a web-based application that's available on Mac, Windows, and mobile devices, and it allows you to not only edit photos, but also make collages and create designs. The web editor offers a healthy selection of basic image editing tools, including one-tap enhance, crop, rotate, curves, HDR, and resizing, and it uses a clean and simple interface that's intuitive and easily mastered. Additionally, it also provides a collage and design maker, and plenty of effects, texts, and stickers, making it well suited for bloggers and social media use. Fodor also offers a desktop based application with more advanced editing tools like batch processing, raw support, split toning, and more. And together, this added functionality is a standout amongst other free applications. Fodor is an excellent option for beginners and enthusiasts wanting to master the fundamentals, and its excellent interface, one tap enhance, and built in filters keep things simple. Overall, it's a strong choice for those wanting the imaging enhancing options and simplicity it provides. Coming in at number two, Pixlr's Photo Editor. Pixlr's X and Pixlr's E are cloud-based web applications that are direct alternatives to Photoshop's Express. And they're both surprisingly capable considering their browser editors. Pixlr's E is the advanced version of their suite and it provides quite a comprehensive set of advanced functionality, including cutouts, masks, 
healing, clone stamp, liquify, layers, and more. Like most online tools, it doesn't offer raw support, but instead JPEG, PNG, and PSD. Even so, given its clean and sleek design and comprehensive features, it's more than adequate. You can also import photos directly from social media, and the editor is fully compatible on mobile devices. Plus, it supports layers, a rare feature on online editors. Both Pixlr suites are good choices for beginners and inspiring pros looking to learn the fundamentals. Each offers advanced features to hone your skills, but each of their user interfaces are intuitive and straightforward with only a modest learning curve. Overall, it's hard to beat the convenience of this powerful photo editor, and it delivers a robust browser experience accessible at a moment's notice with the right balance of form and function. Coming in at number one, GIMP Photo Editor. GIMP is an open source desktop application available on Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. And without question, it's the most powerful and popular free editor around, and one that offers a substantial list of professional features that match Adobe Photoshop in many cases. It packs a full suite of image enhancing tools you typically only expect in premium software, from simple basic actions like cropping or color adjustments to advanced tools like content aware resizing, layer mask, and more. It also offers full raw support in addition to Adobe PSDs, TIFFs, PNGs, JPEGs, and GIFs. So there's no worrying about compatibility here, regardless of what you shoot. Their user base has also created an enormous collection of optional add-ons and plugins, which extends its functionality, and these provide unmatched flexibility over traditional free editors. GIMP is primarily targeted at experienced users with some working knowledge, and it's quite a technical alternative with a robust feature set. However, beginners can benefit from its auto image enhancement tools, and it offers long-term development that's typically not seen in the free product. So while the learning curve is steep, it's extraordinarily capable. Overall, GIMP is the closest any free editor on today's market gets to Adobe Photoshop. And really, if you can do it in Photoshop, you can very well likely do it in GIMP. And as the most popular free editor, it makes sense. So there you have it, my friends. There's our list of the best free photo editors. For more information on this list, look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and that will take you right to the full post. You can also look at that full post to see a guide on how to choose and how to assess free editors. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we miss something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>